हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल तनिमाज आर्टिस्ट्री आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग वेल आई हैव अ कैलेंडर इन माय रूम विद डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ बर्ड्स इन इट फ्रॉम देयर देयर इज वन बर्ड दैट आई लाइक मोर सो आई डिसाइडेड टू पेंट इट टुडे फर्स्ट आई ड्रू द स्केलेटन स्केच ऑफ द बर्ड एंड ऑल्सो अ ब्रांच ऑन इट इट इज सेटिंग then one by one i took all the colors in my palette which i need to do the watercolor here the alignment of the eye of the bird went wrong so i had to erase it and fix it again we have to make sure that the alignment of the eye goes right with the alignment of the beak of the bird so here i am using camel artist watercolor there are 12 shades in the palette and 5 ml each here i have used wet on wet technique to color the bird so it is already wet uh, that you can see here the recording got stopped somehow so i made the paper wet with clear water using a brush sometimes your color may leak like you can see here so you can use a dry cloth and tap the leakage so that it doesn't spread further so the colors which i chose uh, for this piece are prussian blue and white which i used around the belly of the bird yellow ochre and sap green uh, and also burnt sienna which i used uh, around the wings and the head scarlet like and gamboge for the a uh, throat and the most important thing here is that i put the colors layer by layer so sometimes i needed for the first layer to be dried completely for applying the second layer and sometimes sometimes i needed uh, my paper to hold on a little bit moisture so that i can apply the second layer of color and the colors mixes together and for the shadow which is created under the belly of the bird is uh, created by using your locker burnt sienna a little bit of sap green i've already started here to put the second layer of colors on the bird sometimes i'm using a little bit diluted version of the same color to mix all the colors together in some of the parts i have used only two layers of colors like it throat because it is already so bright there but when i needed uh, some uh, more layers i have used three or four layers also so like you can see around the eyes uh, head and uh, under the wings you can see three or four layers mixed with each other for creating the feathery effect uh, in the wings i have used burnt sienna for the little cute beak of the bird and the eye i have used mixture of prussian blue and black and around the eye ball i have used yellow ochre to surround it so it gets highlighted for the tree branch i have used the prussian blue uh, burnt sienna and black and also a little bit of yellow ochre and burnt sienna and as you can see i have not sketched any of the leaves of the tree but at last or in the thumbnail also you can see that there are tree leaves uh, around the tree branches in one of the corner so for that i made my brush wet then took a little bit of lemon yellow and sap green together in the brush and pressed the brush on my paper so it created a leafy note in the paper 
so all over the painting the bird and the branch i have used wet and wet technique wet on wet technique so i made the paper wet first and then put the color wet color on it watercolor on it but uh, for the leaves it is only wet on dry because the paper was dry then i used my watercolor on the dry paper because if i used wet on a wet technique uh, here also the colors the leafy colors will would spread all around and it wouldn't create the leafy effect but uh, in the last around the corner i mean in the um, bottom right corner if you see i have used the wet on wet technique again to mix the color i wanted the color to spread together there the lemon yellow sap green little bit of blue also prussian blue and uh, also the burnt sienna i have mixed all this color together to create a mixed effect on it i am putting another layer of color the same color combination a little bit dark if you want to darken your color with the same color combination uh, you can put a little bit of blue there or a little bit of black there so the same color combination that i used to paint the wings is used here but uh, a little bit of uh, dark is used to highlight or to um show a shadow effect so just like that i am about to finish my whole painting and the piece will be ready in few seconds i hope you like the video and enjoy and also like the descriptions that i have added with this video to make it easy for you to draw a piece of art like this and if you enjoy and if you like the video don't hesitate to hit the like button also share your thoughts in the comment box you can also advise me for some improvements and also give me suggestions on which kind of uh, drawing i can uh, do more and uh, if you are new in my channel you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for further notification regarding the channel so i'm already finished just only a little bit of touch up here it is completely ready i have already added the reference from which i have drawn it at last i want to thank all of you for being with me and for supporting me thanks a lot